Okay, let's go ahead and factor the polynomial. I would say that factoring is probably one of the most important skills that you learn in algebra. Matter of fact, if you don't know how to factor, and I'm talking about factoring things like polynomials, um, you won't be able to do a good amount of the things that you're gonna have to study in algebra. So if there's one skill that you wanna master, that is factoring. And uh, with that in mind, we're gonna go ahead and practice factoring uh, this trinomial. So this is a what we call a quadratic uh, trinomial. You can see here it has a power of x, or x uh, to the second power, so this is x squared, x, and then we have a number. So we would classify this as a trinomial. There's one, two, three terms, and it's quadratic, so this is a quadratic trinomial. And you're gonna to wanna to be able to factor things like this in algebra, so this is a pretty standard type of problem. Now what makes this problem a little bit unique is um, the coefficients, these are the numbers in front of the variables here, are a little large, but we can kind of deal with that in a nice, easy way. So if you think you can do this, go ahead and pause the video and put your answer into the comment section. Of course, I'm gonna go through this step by step in just one second, but first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, all students can be successful in math. So if you're having a tough time in algebra or any other math course, you can do much better, but it requires two things. One, you gotta be willing to do the work. Um, so if you're not working that hard, you need to work harder to uh, master these skills. The second thing is you need great math instruction, clear and understandable, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, uh, uh, high school, or even college level, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. By the way, if you're preparing for any sort of test with the math section, things like the GED, SAT, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, I can help you out there. If you homeschool, I got great middle and high school homeschool math courses. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to help me out by liking and subscribing to my channel. All right, so let's get into factoring polynomials. And this is definitely um, a type of problem you should be able to handle if you're taking any sort of algebra course. So let's get to it. And the first thing you always want to do when you're factoring anything in um, algebra is look to factor out the GCF, okay? So this is the greatest common factor. Now, if you don't know how to factor out the GCF, I have videos, um, additional videos on factoring. Matter of fact, I have a ton of videos on factoring on my YouTube channel. Just check out my um, algebra playlist or pre-algebra playlist. But if you really want to master this stuff, you might want to consider my full algebra course as well. But the greatest common factor, you always look to uh, see if there is a greatest common factor amongst the coefficients or the terms of any um, uh, trinomial or anything you're trying to factor in algebra. So here, looking at, I have 25, 50, and 75. I can factor out a 25. The 25 is the greatest, uh, greatest common factor, okay? So look here, I will just look at this coefficients and review this real quick. So the factors of 25 would be 25 times one. Of course, that's five times five as well. But 50 is 25 times two, and then 75 is 25 times three. So you can see here that um, the, uh, in terms of factors, each of these numbers have 25 as a factor, and it's the greatest common factor. So you need to really understand how to factor out the greatest common factor um, before you tackle any uh, trinomials or or special uh, factoring situations, master the GCF first. Okay, so that's going to um, do a couple of things here for us. One, it's, uh, it's going to make our life much easier, okay? And the second thing is, this is in fact a factor, okay? So a factor to this trinomial is in fact 25. That's one factor. But now we have to deal with the remaining trinomial, and that is x squared plus 2x minus 3. And of course, this is going to be much easier to deal with than 25x squared plus 50x minus 75. So my question to you is, can you factor x squared plus 2x minus 3? Okay, so hopefully you can if uh, your expression is like, hmm, I'm not quite sure I can factor that. Well, this is what I would classify as an algebra emergency, okay? Uh, you definitely need to be able to do things like this or you will not be able to pass algebra. Now, it sounds kind of over the top, but I'm telling you right now, 
uh, factoring is used everywhere throughout an algebra course. You got to be able to handle things like this. Again, follow through by watching more of my uh, videos on YouTube or, you know, find, get whatever help you need uh, to know how to factor uh, trinomials and the like. But let's get into it now and let's talk about how to factor uh, this remaining trinomial. So x squared plus 2x minus 3. Now, the first thing I want to mention is you can see here that you can factor it, but sometimes you just don't know if you can factor a trinomial. There's no guarantee that every trinomial will be factorable. Okay, so it's, for example, if I give you the number 20 and I say factor 20, you would be like, oh, okay, that's like 2 times 10, and there's other factors, but these, this is... Um, you know, um, a factorable number, okay? So, i.e. composite, we can factor 20. But if I give you 17, you would be like, hey, isn't that prime? That's just one times 17. So when you have a number that its only factor is one, you would classify that as prime, okay? You kind of think of that as unfactorable. But same thing here with trinomials. Sometimes there is no factor, but you have to attempt to factor a trinomial uh, if you're, you know, faced with a problem like this and algebra. So how can we um, determine whether this is factorable? Well, this is what I classify as a case one trinomial. Now, there's different techniques to be able to factor this. Here is the answer. It's x minus 1 times x plus 3 or x plus 3 times x minus 1. If you got this right, that's excellent. But let's talk about an easy way um, to deal with this. So a case one trinomial is where the leading coefficient, that's the um, uh, coefficient or the number in front of the x squared term. This, of course, could, this could be another variable of y squared, t squared. It doesn't make a difference. You always want to have this written in standard form. In other words, x squared, x, and then a number. Okay, So you don't want this in another order. But if I take this 1 and I multiply by this negative 3, this is an easy way to class or to uh, factor these case 1 uh, trinomials. So let's take a look at this real quick. Again, I'm kind of quickly going through this, um, uh, just kind of assuming that you may not know how to factor something like this. You're going to want to follow through either by checking out my algebra course or more of my videos on YouTube on factoring. But 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Now, let's list the factors of negative 3. Now, I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing here in a second. So negative 3, you can factor as negative 1 times 3. That gets me to a negative 3 or positive 1 times negative 3. Okay, so these are the pairs of factors for negative 3. Now, if I add up these factors, if I take negative 1 plus a positive 3, I get a positive 2. If I take a positive 1 plus a negative 3, I get a negative 2. So you might be saying, well, what are you doing here? Well, I'm going to show you. What you're going to be looking for is this center coefficient right here. This is a positive 2. So which one of these factors gave us a positive 2? Well, it's these factors right here, negative 1 and positive 3. And this is going to be um, uh, what we're going to use for our answer. So anytime you're factoring a trinomial, okay, it's always going to be parentheses, 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 uh, like this. So it's going to be two pairs of parentheses. This is an x squared. You're always going to have an x and x right there. So what we're going to try to determine is what are the numbers that go in this part of the answer, okay? So here, this is a positive 2. My factors added up to a positive 2, so my answer is going to be right here, a negative 1 and a positive 3. So if I put a negative 1 there and a positive 3 here, that is the answer, okay? This is a super easy way to um, factor these case 1 trinomials. Now, I'm explaining this to you. This might be a little bit confusing, but you know, with practice, this is going to be just you know, very easy to do because a lot of students confuse um, factoring trinomials. Okay, there's other techniques. I don't care what technique you use as long as you can get this right. But if you don't, if you're confused with other techniques, follow this procedure because you'll be able to get these rights every single time. So here we have x minus 1 times x plus 3. These are the, this, these right here are the factors of this trinomial. But remember, we have our GCF 25 uh, there, so we can't forget about that. So our final answer is going to be 25 times x minus 1 times x plus 3. This is the factor to our original problem right up here, which is 25x squared plus 50x minus 75. 
Okay, so how did you do? Did you get this correct? Well, if you did get this right, I'm going to give you a little happy face with an A+. 100%. Matter of fact, we'll throw in a few stars just to make you feel extra special today. Nice job. Okay, but remember, this is a pretty basic type of problem. There's much more um, challenging problems when it comes to factoring, so you're going to have to really get super good at factoring. The better you get at fact, better you get at factoring, the better your algebra scores and grades are going to be. Okay, so just believe me on this. I've been teaching algebra for many decades, so. You know, again, don't dismiss your ability to factor. It's super important. All right, so hopefully this video helps you out. And if that is the case, help me out by liking and subscribing to my channel. I have literally a thousand plus videos on my channel that can help you out, whether it's for basic math, pre algebra, algebra, geometry, uh, trigonometry, pre calculus, and even calculus. So, uh, you know, plenty of stuff for you to check out. But if you need additional help with factoring, okay, check out more of my factoring videos. I go over case one and case two. Of course, I teach this thoroughly, thoroughly and my algebra course. By the way, if you need a pair of math notes, um, uh, algebra notes or algebra two notes, geometry, I have notes in uh, the description of my video as well that can help you out. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.